In this video, let us simplify the classification of ovarian tumors given by the WHO. For that, we have to understand the histology of ovary first. So the basic histology is that ovary is surrounded by a epithelium. Right. Beneath the epithelium, ovary has two components. One is the ovarian stroma. This part, which is the stroma, which has stromal cells. And we have the major component, other major component, that is your germ cells marked over here with purple. So these three components are the major histological components of ovary. And based on the origin of the tumor, we can have epithelial tumors, germ cell tumors, and we can have stromal cell tumors. Apart from that, we have a fourth class that is metastatic tumors to the ovary. That means the tumors which are coming to the ovary as a part of metastasis, right? Just like this. So it's a metastatic tumors. Now, let us one by one understand what are the classification of these. Under metastatic tumor, we have only one kind of ovarian tumor that is metastatic, that is known as the Krukenberg tumor. And it comes from breast, stomach, etc. Right, now we come to the primary ovarian tumors, that is epithelial ovarian tumors, germ cell tumors, and stromal tumors. So from epithelium, the tumors which are originating are named as epithelial tumors. And we have a mnemonic to remember the epithelial tumors. What is a mnemonic? The mnemonic is, my sister began experiencing chess. My sister began experiencing chess. So M represents mucinous cystadenoma of ovary. S represents serous cystadenoma of ovary. B represents Brenner tumor. E represents endometroid tumor or endometroid cancer of ovary. And final C represents clear cell cancer of ovary. Right. So the mnemonic is my sister began experiencing chess. I hope this is clear. So these are the epithelial tumors. Now we will move on to the germ cell tumors. The germ cell tumors. For that, I also have a mnemonic that is doctor examined the ovaries. Doctor examined the ovaries, right? So D in the doctor represents disgerminoma. E in the examined represents endometrial tumors or endometrial sinus. T represents teratoma. O represents ovarian choriocarcinoma. Right. Finally, we are left with the last option that is the stromal tumors. Right. So let's start with the stromal tumors. Now for that, I have a mnemonic that is she felt grim. She felt grim. And this is for the stromal six cord tumors. C represents Sertoli cell tumors or Leydig cell tumors. With Sertoli cell, you can remember Leydig cell tumors. F represents fibroma or thicoma or fibrothicoma. And G in the grim represents granulosa cell tumor. Okay, so these are this is the classification of ovarian tumors that is given by WHO and here I have discussed three different mnemonics to remember the same over here. I believe you have understood the video well. If you have understood this video, please hit the like button, share this video among your friends and peers of your medical school and for more such amazing content, please follow my channel The Nerd Medic.